LP today at Circuit City. Uh oh, there goes Tony. Oh my goodness. Huh. Crash in turn four. Man, and oh, there man. in the midst of it sits Tony Stewart and Kurt Busch, the two leaders. I believe, I, I'm not sure, but I believe Tony got a little loose all at once. Kurt Busch, the two, will go straight to the garage, Jerry. I'm worried about you. I ain't worried about that car. That was Greg Zipidelli, Stewart's crew chief. And the strongest Chevy and the strongest Dodge in Daytona. <laughs> are wrecked. Let's watch it. I don't know if Kurt got into the back of Tony or not. Let's wait till we get around here and see. Tony's car just, all, uh, Tony hit the apron. He got down on the apron. He got a little bit loose. Kurt was all over the back of him and there he goes. Tony's dropped the window net on his car. That's a signal to safety workers that he is okay. Watch, watch the yellow line. Yeah, watch the left front tire. He gets it on the apron just a little bit. You see the car wiggle, and he gets loose. He's got to probably lift out of the throttle a tad. And here comes Kurt. Cannot get off of him. They make contact. And then once Tony gets sideways, nowhere for Kurt Busch and the two to go. What a shame. You're doing 185 miles an hour, Daryl. The car in front of you suddenly loses several miles an hour of momentum. Was there anything Kurt Busch could do to avoid Stewart. No, you could see he was trying to get down. He was trying to get underneath Tony to get away from me. It wasn't possible. He did everything he could do. And remember, they had fresh tires. This is a racetrack where you run wide open on the mat. Just listen. Just, just that little, you hear the throttle, un, 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 and that, that's all it takes. Tony Stewart's ninth try to win the Daytona 500 will come up short. We can show you the speed of Kurt Busch's car going through here. Sorry, we don't have that telemetry on the 20, but we'll give you an idea of how Kurt Busch tries to scrub off speed as Stewart loses his momentum. Busch is in the number two. These guys are quick, but they just can't. This happens too quick. See the car wiggle ever so slightly. Tony, you heard the throttle on the other replay we had. Tony had to work the throttle and Kurt's just closing at probably another five or eight miles an hour. Boy, and how close it was for Kyle Busch, Martin Truex Jr., Carl Edwards, Johnny Sauter, all those guys.